Today, I want to show you a powerful way to find the differences between two lists. For this example, I'm using two simple lists. First, I need to make sure Excel recognizes these as tables. Hit OK. Do the same thing for table B. Now I want to bring these tables into Power Query. I can click anywhere on table A, go to the data tab, click on get data from table slash range. We have our table in Power Query. Let me rename this table name. Now I want to bring in table B. So let me go to close, click on close and load to. For now, I want to keep this as a connection only. Click OK. Here's our Power Query connection to table A. To bring in table B, I'm going to right click this time on any one of the elements. We can see that the same option is available on the menu. Select it. And here's our table B. Let me rename. Okay, now we are ready to do the difference between A and B. The first thing I'll do is table A minus table B, which means that the values that overlap with table B should be removed. So 6 to 10 should be gone. I expect the result to be 1 to 5. Okay, make sure table A is selected. Go over to Merge Queries. Select Merge Queries as New. Table A has already been selected up top. Let me select table B. Notice that the OK button is grayed out. That is because we have to select the columns for comparison. So column A and column B, and now the OK button is on. Under join kind, we'll select left anti. So what does this left and right mean? Imagine table A is on the left side of the comparison, and table B is on the right side of the comparison. Left anti refers to the left table, which is table A. So when we do A subtract by B, we want to keep the elements unique to table A. So we want to choose left anti. Click on OK. Here is our A minus B. The second column is not going to be useful. So let me delete that. OK, now we can do B minus A. There's a couple of different ways we can do this, but to stay consistent, I'm going to select table A again, go up to merge queries, merge queries as new, select table B again, select the columns for comparison. Now this time, instead of left anti, we'll select right anti. As you can imagine, if I were to swap these two tables and put table B up top, Table A on the bottom, then I would select left anti. So whichever join kind that we select, it depends on the arrangement of the two tables. Again, the one on the top is the one on the left. The one on the bottom is the one on the right. So to keep the unique elements on the right side, table B, we select right anti. Hit OK. Here is our B minus A. Let me expand this. As expected, the number 6 through 10 is gone, and we don't need column A. Now with these two tables, we can find the symmetric difference, which are the elements that are unique to table A and unique to table B. So it will be a combination of A minus B and B minus A. So what I'm going to do is append these two tables together. So essentially, I'm doing a union between these two tables. The key to making the union work is that the column name in both tables has to be the same. Let me rename it to something generic. I'll call it diff for difference. I'll use the same table name. And now I can go to append queries, append query as new. Table A minus B is already selected. I'll select B minus A. Hit OK. 
And here is our difference table. As expected, the numbers 6 through 10 are gone, only left with the unique numbers in table A and table B. Now let's bring this back to Excel. Click on Close and Load. Choose Close and Load to. Now because there are three new tables, the only option I have is to put them all in new sheets. Let me just keep them as connections for now. Hit OK. And now if I want to show these tables, I can select one of these cells. Click on Table A minus B. Click on Load to. Load it as a table. It's going to drop in cell E1. Hit OK. Here's the A minus B table. Do the same to the B minus A table. Select table. Let me put it on F1. Hit OK. I'll do the same thing to this table. And I'll put it on G1. OK. These column names are a little bit confusing because they're all the same. Let me move them down. Up here, I'll just name what the tables actually are. Now, what happens if I modify the table? So let's say I add a new number, 16. Go up to Data tab, click on Refresh All. You can see that 16 got refreshed into our tables. And that's it. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing.